Right, I am finally working on my July paper clip and I had this idea quite a while ago but I just have been putting it off. So I just am going to make a beach scene. And so I'm cutting a piece of paper, how wide is this? About an inch and a half wide. And this one is about four and a half inches long. And I'm just going to kind of wing it and see how it turns out. So normally I do one and then film making the second paper clip, but this time I'm just going to go for it. I have my idea. So I am going to use just these regular jumbo size paper clips. So I'm going to fold my paper in half. So I want it to slide through the paper clip. Make sure it fits good. Okay, that looks good. So that size should work. Oh, I did not fold that very straight. Fix that a little bit. I guess I could have got my bone folder out, but that's okay. So I have this super sticky tape that I got from Alton Crafts quite a while ago and have never really used it. My sister used it and said it works really, really good. So what I'm going to do is put some tape along the bottom of this and stick some sand to it. So I'm just going to Hmm, not quite sure how to do this, but I'll just kind of go like that and then trim that up. Whoa, I gotta find my scissors, be right back. Okay, I'll just trim this off. Same thing on this one. Maybe I'll just I have this sand that I got from Florida. This sand and shells are from Pelican Beach and it's pretty fine. And I went to Fort Lauderdale and I have never seen so many shells in my life. But the sand there was really, had a lot of shells in the sand. So I'm trying to decide if I want a more textury. I think I do. So what I'm gonna do is, I got this corner right here. It's quite a bit of sand. So I'm just gonna peel off the the uh, covering of the tape. Oh, I guess I better. Oh, it's kind of wiggling the camera a lot. Peel off the protective backing and just stick it on. Oh, shoot. Stick into the bag. Just stick it in the sand here. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I like all those shells. That looks neat. I like it. I like it. I just hope that the tape is sticky enough that the sand won't be coming off. 
and just push it down really good. I have a spray fixative that I think maybe I will put on this when I'm all done because I don't want my paper clip swap partner to have sand all over in whatever project she uses this in. So now I have to figure out how to do the next part. I made this homemade texture paste and so I wanted to use it to make it look like the ocean on the other half of my little piece and so I'm going to ponder that and come right back. Okay so I played around with my texture paste and my Distress Oxide ink. I used Salty Ocean and I sprayed it and got it wet which I think was a mistake. So it turned a super light blue and so then I wanted to add a little bit more color and I added some blueprint sketch and mix that in. So I kind of think it kind of gives the feel of waves. So I think I'll try this one. Okay, well, I am going to leave well enough alone, let this dry, and then decide if I need to add a palm tree or... <sighs> I was thinking of finding some little shells that were more whole. I don't know, I kind of just saved big ones. I guess I could... I don't know. I'm going to let this dry and then we'll see what I feel it needs. So, I'll be back. Okay, so I decided to put just a little bit of white texture paste along the shoreline because I didn't like the way that that looked. So I thought this kind of looked like foam. And then I cut out this really cute tiny little crab to put in the corner. So. I'll show you how I did that with the texture paste. I just used my palette knife and got kind of a lot on the tip and then just kind of spread it on there. Let it be kind of thick because I wanted to make sure to cover up that 
sharp edge of blue. I thought this way it kind of looked like the foam as a wave washes up. So, just like that. Then, I took my little tiny crab and oh, got it out, yay! Put a little bit of glue on the back and on the claws there. And then just placed him down in the corner. Okay, then oh, I had a lot of issues with this, but I wanted to put Seize the Day on there. I, oh, I wanted it to be smaller. I first had a different font. So anyway, after much trial and error on my Cricut machine, I got it to cut out. I wanted to glue three of them together so it would have a little more weight to it. So I'm just going to use my fine tip glue pan, glue bottle here and glue these layers on. And then we'll glue that on to the background there. There. Oh, that looks cute. Okay. So I'm going to let that dry. And then I was going to put uh, Mod Podge over the top because I'm really worried about this sand coming off. And I think it will give it a nice look to it. Look kind of glossy. So I will be right back. Okay, I think I will glue the paper clip in before I Mod Podge. So I've got my E6000 here. There. So I will make sure when you thread it that you've got the open side at the top. Just put that in like this. Just put some glue here by the paper clip and just kind of all over. Do the same thing to my second one. Oh, this glue is stinky. Okay, now, 
Ooh, I've got some stringies from the glue all over. Okay, so now we'll get out our Mod Podge here. And just kind of dab it on. Might need it kind of heavy to get all this sand in there. Okay, I'll let that dry and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so they're all dry and here they are all done. I'm really happy with the way they turned out. I had a lot of struggles getting this to cut out on my Cricut. I guess I was making it too small and not using the right paper, but I love the shininess that the Mod Podge added and now I feel better about the sand staying on. So I'm happy with how they turned out. And thank you for watching. If you liked this, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you.